I was inspired by astronauts and space exploration and I came to Purdue to be an astronaut. I, I literally made a decision in my life that that was what I was interested in as a child. Uh, while I was attending community college, I was working as a mechanic. At that point, I was gonna make a choice between automotive design or science. And I chose science as a career path and then applied to Purdue University. Three years there to finish my bachelor's degree. And then I remained there uh, to complete my master's in geophysics, specializing in rock physics. And then I went on to Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, where I spent four years obtaining my PhD with a specialty in seismology. I pursued the things that I liked. I enjoyed geology and geosciences. I felt I was good at it. I became recognized in the field, and I think that made me a good candidate for becoming an astronaut, along with the skills that I obtained working as a mechanic. The time spent at Purdue was very important to me. In fact, uh, Purdue University has been in my family for a long time. I had an uncle who graduated back in 1905 in civil engineering, and my father and uncle both attended Purdue University in the early and mid-60s, and so it seemed like a natural progression for me to actually attend the university myself. I certainly looked forward to the end of the school year in the spring when Grand Prix started to roll around. That was always my favorite time of the year at Purdue was uh, the Purdue Grand Prix. Purdue's got a great reputation for being involved in science and engineering. I'm proud when I, when I talk about the university and I'm proud to be one of the astronauts that represent the school. We as people need to have a well-rounded education. I'm a musician. I play guitar. I now confer upon you, Andrew J. Poistel the degree of Doctor of Science, you will now be vested with the hood. What was really special is that uh, my crewmate Scott Tingle, and also a Purdue graduate, uh, Scott's the one that actually hooded me. It was almost overwhelming. I was sort of taking my breath away as I was accepting the degree and, and even preparing for that and getting ready for the event. And I appreciate what uh, President Daniels did for not only for me to receive the degree, but also to try to share that moment with the graduating class that was there. Uh, the sky is not the limit and uh, don't ever lose sight of your goals. That was Andrew Foistel. Look for more stories at purdue.edu slash footprints.